The key to successful leadership in any situation is the extent to which you are committed to influencing others to achieve results beyond which they think are capable. So says real estate coach Mike Staver as he outlines requirements for a courageous leader. The first is your message. To what extent is the message that comes from your mouth every single day clear and inspiring? You'll notice Martin Luther King when he got up in the Mall of Washington did not say, I have a hunch. He didn't guess, he didn't say, okay, Rosa, front of the bus, okay, let's make some posters, let's storm Selma. He didn't do any of that. What he did was he created an environment that inspired people to be uncomfortable in the pursuit of something that they really in their heart of hearts wanted to accomplish. So here's what you've got to think about. What is the story that you create in your environment? Are you really a leader or are you a manager trying to get tasks accomplished? The second thing I want you to consider uh, about being a courageous leader is this. The majority of your time needs to be spent in this thing called high gain activity. Now, if you're like most leaders that I work with around the world, you probably have a pretty significant gap between what you're actually doing and what you need to be doing. Between what your intentions are and what your actual behavior is. If you're like most people, you wake up in the morning and think, hmm, I think I'm gonna go to the gym and eat a bowl of fruit. But somehow you end up face down in a box of Krispy Kremes. And the reason is there's a significant gap in most leaders' lives between what they intend to do and what they actually do. Between the extent to which you have a compelling strategy and the extent to which you execute well. The gap between the amount of time you wanna spend in high gain activity and the amount of time you're actually spending in high gain activity is what we call the efficiency gap or the leadership efficiency gap. It takes a lot of courage to change that because my guess is if you're like most people out there, you're like a stagecoach with 10 horses hooked up to it, all running in different directions. And so the key is how do you get focused enough to be able to move your organization forward? And so the first thing is you have to have a clear and inspiring message, as we mentioned. And the second thing is you have to have absolute clarity about high gain activity. According to Mike, as you review these suggestions, you should always be asking yourself, what am I doing today that would compel people to follow me? Great leaders deliver a clear and inspiring message, demand intelligent use of time, and through personal exemplary action, help others achieve their best. Thanks for joining us.